You know, some UMBC fans still reeling from that historic win on Friday night. Let it go, let it go. Aside from people talking about the team, a few other stars have emerged. ABC 2's Abby Isaacs spoke to two proud graduates behind the school's now iconic brand. This is crazy. All right. A whirlwind weekend for UMBC fans. After the basketball team's historic win Friday night, the school's brand just took off. Uh, you know, Ubering somewhere. They're like, hey, who are you here with? UMBC. The Miracle Basketball School. You with know, graduate so, Zach you know, Seidel know. running their Twitter, the account gained over 100,000 new followers in just two days. Nothing he says because of his snarky personality. And that's the stuff fans want to see. You know, in this day and age, you can see the score to the game at any time. So why not have some fun with it? $33 million in just one weekend. That's how much a marketing group estimates UMBC's advertisements were worth in just two days. And that's $30 million more than the weekend before, when UMBC beat Vermont to win the conference and move on to the tournament. But it's just so great for the school, and I'm, I'm really happy for the institution. We're on the map now, and, you know, we'll get some attention. I think that's the important thing. Alum Kara Deckelbaum was welcomed back to fill in a very important position. The now iconic mascot, True Grit the Retriever. It was incredible. I just remember being on the court, and I was like, by 20 points, we could win this thing. She helped the school score some extra bragging points, too. Winning the mascot dance-off. And jumping on the drums with the pep band. I really just wanted to prove that though we're not the biggest university, we could have the best spirit. Both are excited to use their newfound fame to promote the school's academics. Seidel even posting a link to their admissions page on Twitter. So I just tweeted out, hey, no matter what happens, guys, remember, we're conveniently located next to Baltimore and a great academic institution. One weekend leaving a lasting impact on this school for years to come. In Baltimore County, Abby Isaacs, ABC2 News.